In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the minifs function in Google Sheets. What the minifs function does is it will take a range of cells and return the minimum value based on a set of criteria that you specify in the formula. In other words, what it lets you do is filter a data set by a set of criteria and then return the minimum value from that filtered range. So if you've heard of the max ifs function, or if you saw my previous video on how to use the max ifs function, this function is pretty much the same, except it's the exact opposite. Max ifs returns the max, min ifs returns the minimum. Before I show you how to use the function, I'm going to cover the basic syntax of the function. This is the syntax here, min ifs. The first argument of the function is range, and this is the range of cells that you want to return the minimum value from. The second argument of the function is the criteria range, and this is the range of cells that contains the criterion that you're going to evaluate for. The third argument is the criterion, so this is the condition or test that you're going to apply to the criteria range. and then you can place additional criteria ranges or criterions in as additional arguments, but that is optional. So this might seem complex, but once I show you how to use it, you will see that it is actually a pretty simple function to use. So I'm going to show you how to use it here. In this example, I have sales for different products, and then I have the department that that product belongs to. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to use the minifs function to return items in the home department with the minimum sales. So I'm going to return the smallest value from the sales for products in the home department. So I'll show you how to do that now. So what I want to do is equals min ifs and then my first argument is the range that I want to return the minimum value from. I want to return the minimum value from the column with sales. So this is going to be my first argument. The next argument is going to be our criteria range. So this is basically the range that I want to filter by. Since I want to only use this function to return the minimum value from products that are in the home department, this is going to be my criteria range. And then my criterion is basically what am I filtering by. I'm trying to filter to only perform this on items in the home department. So this is what I place as the last argument in this function. So what this does, again, searches this range, and it's only going to return the minimum for things where this range equals home. So if I press enter, 857. So you can see from the three home products, 857 is the minimum value. So that is what this function does. Now, I have shown you how to use it here with one criteria, you can use this with multiple criteria. So I'll show you how to do that here. So it's going to be pretty much the same, except this time I'm going to set up multiple criteria in this formula. I'm going to do items in the clothing department for the month of June, and we will return the minimum value. So equals min ifs the range I want to return the minimum value from, the first criteria that I want to filter by is in this range, and so I'm going to do clothing items this time, and now we're going to do ones where the month is equal to June. So I'm going to place the column with the month here as my next criteria range, and then the criterion is for the month of June, and it returns 670. Because of the clothing items in the month of June, 670 is the minimum value. 
So that is how to use this function. Now I have only shown some basic ways to use the function. As you gain more comfort with this, you can use it in more powerful ways by combining it with other functions and using comparison operators as your criterion. If you want to use it for more advanced filtering options, that's beyond the scope of what I'm going to cover in this video. But as always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.